Talking of your ex-clubs, I see Saracens are going to be playing Stade Francais in one of their friendlies in the city. The uh, Honourable Artillery Club, a different yeah. Stade Francais to the one you left behind, uh, what was that, 15 months ago? Yeah, I saw that actually. I'm, 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 I'm quite surprised because that's right in the middle of uh, Stad's season and just, bef just before they start. But I mean, the colour of those two clubs would make for a cracking game, I think. Well, James Shaw escaping the clutches of Ian Clark. That was another one of those little battles within, a big battle in this game. And Short having the power to show what he can do. Similar build, similar stance, but Short perhaps a little more developed as a winger than, than Ian Clark is right now. Advantage offside. Runs over. Gloucester haven't really been able to do anything so far in this game because Saracens have controlled the ball so well, both on restarts and when they've got it, they're just using the width playing very clever sevens and again just retaining retention, retention, and eventually the holes will come. Certainly Nils Morton knows all about the sevens game, coached this side last year with a knee injury that put him out. And James Short has put in for his second try. Well, we talked all about Ian Clark scoring tries. This man knows his way to the line and is showing it tonight. That's the third try of the evening for young James Short. Edmonds flips the ball out to Henry Trinder. We saw Trinder at King's home. Butcher a couple of opportunities. Thankfully, he rectified it shortly afterwards, but decision-making so key, so vital, especially when it has to be so quick in this game. Dave Lewis coming round, trying to open the door for Ian Clark, and eventually that door does open, and Ian Clark trots over to open Gloucester's account just before half-time. Matt Cox... Using his strength as a back rower to set up the next phase of play. Henry Trinder gets the ball out and it's an easy trot in for Gareth Evans. So they do get their second try. Just interesting to see here, this is great play from Henry Trinder there. Uses his pace to cause a bit of confusion on the outside for Short. Short's not sure though whether he has to turn in or wait for the outside defender. Bounce pass not helping Chris Wiles, but suddenly he turns on the afterburners and Wiles striding up the middle of the pitch gets the offload. Oh, went back from a Gloucester hand. This game is really going from end to end. Weir Edmonds on the charge. Adam Powell doing well to get back, but has lost the ball. Lewis feeds out to Shane Monahan. What can the Irish winger do from here? Release two! What's up? Just under two and a half minutes to go, oh, two points of difference. Like Ian Clark against Clark James Shaw. Ian Clark's in for his tenth try of this tournament. And Gloucester, for the first time in this match, have got their noses in front. Dave Lewis, he sees the space behind, and then he puts it through. He sees Ian Clark on the outside, and he backs his pace to go and score. Mort. To Wiles. And the door opens for Nathan Earl. Goes past Ian Clark, but Clark comes back to get him. And that tackle may just have won Gloucester this game. Fabulous they... D. Great effort from Ian Clark. Scored two tries already in this game. And then he's got the guts and the pace to go back and just put his man into touch there. As the clock has got two seconds to go, Gloucester just need to win this restart and kick it straight into the stand. Well, Saracens have only ever lost two matches in this tournament against London Irish in the first leg at the Stoop and then in the final course last year to Newcastle. But they've just lost their third because Gloucester have done it. They've come back from behind. Dave Lewis engineering that final try for Ian Clark. And it's Gloucester, much to the chagrin of the Bath supporters, who are going to be one of the finalists.